Yes, we're back. We're back again in Train Sim World 2. We're back again to do another route. And this time I'm going to go back to one that's, well, local to me. Well, not this iteration, but that's a whole different issue. Uh, but local to me, and I wanted to do a diesel. So we're going to have a bash on the Great Western Express. I uh, haven't done it for a long time. Uh, so I'll probably end up doing the whole tutorial how to drive a train thing. Uh, because me and I've forgotten and in case you're new uh, to this and you haven't seen the how to drive a train thing uh, we'll do that definitely for your benefit 100% uh, for your benefit not for me because I can't remember anything uh, if you're watching this on the YouTube then hello I really must stop waving anyway uh, this going out on the uh, railway Wednesday I know it's, it's a thing uh, other content is the OMSI on a Monday the on a Friday some things thing Friday I think thing Thursday would work better wouldn't it thing for f-i-n-g Friday F ing oh no that wouldn't work would it yeah some things on a friday uh, well i've got new content to look at um that will go out on a sunday on random sunday so that's that bit done uh, there'll be some links in the doobly doo below uh, one to where you can purchase this root as in routes not root as in Groot, uh for the train sim world 2 uh one to where you can watch this madness live on the twitchy because apparently that's a thing. Uh, and one to the Discord server where you, like 450 other people, can enter our server and never be heard of again. It's like the Twilight Zone in there. Anyway, uh, let's click on the Great Western Express thing and see what we can do. Uh, oh, it's actually going to take me straight to a thing. I wasn't expecting that. And I am doing really good today. Uh, very good, in fact. Worryingly good. It is slightly concerning, really. I should seek medical attention. Uh, we're not going to do that because we want to go and do the uh, the, the whole thing. Don't we? I did say I'll be doing the training thing. Um, so I'm going to do that. Uh, right, let's go to explore. We've done the training, but we're going to do them again. Well, I've done all of it. Uh, can we do we do the introduction? Should we do the introduction? That's 10 minutes, though. Why have we got... Oh, we didn't do class 66. Ooh. Let's start with the class 43, then. Uh, the HST and um, learn how to do the drivey thing of the train, because I can't remember these things. Why didn't we do the Class 6? Perhaps you should do the Class 66. That's a track IR. The Class 43 high-speed train in Great Western Railway, Misery. Great work on being accepted as a driver for GWR. Today, you're going to learn how to take control of this iconic train, get it moving, and then bring it to a stop. Start by climbing aboard the locomotive. Enter through the cab door in front of you. I will enter through the cab door in front of me. Well, it's not directly in front of me. Doesn't that look nice? I know 66 is freight. But, you know, we haven't done it. So we could give it a go. Uh, Take a look around. And when you're ready, have a seat in the driver's chair. I'm going to close it. It looks very... Uh, well, have we have got odd chairs. That just seems a bit strange, doesn't it? But, okay. Oh. Uh, insert the master key. Uh, somewhere over there. Need to get the engine up. Okay. Set the reverser handle into the neutral position. And do trialis. This is the best part. Hearing the engine revs build and starting to feel the power this powerful locomotive holds. When you're ready, hit the engine start button on the desk there. Why does she sound like she's talking through a radio that I've just bought from Poundland? Uh, hi, Rabbit Boy. Uh, press the starty button. Oh yes. Get a little more complicated from here, but we'll take it step by step. Set the headlights to day headlamp and markers. I was listening to the engine. Oh, listen to that. This is going to be pornographic. This is going to be pornographic. Can we open the... No, don't open the door. That'd be dangerous. It's not a window. Okay, we'll just go for it then. Yeah, I didn't do Tees Valley.
yeah, I did Tees Valley recently. That's why I decided not to do it. I only did it a couple of months ago. And uh, was going to do... Um, I was going to do um, Northern Trans Pennine, but I got reminded I didn't like it. Uh, so uh, decided to do this instead. And by this audio, I'm glad I did. It would be better if it was Valenta powered, but this is fine. Right, so uh, I'm guessing at some point it's, I'm going to need to stop. Hang on, where's my little... Don't be stealing other trains now. I'll try not to. So we do the, the how to do the drivey thing in this train. Then we did a 166. I never did a 66 last time. So we'll do that as well. Uh, and then we'll maybe... Um, we'll take this thing definitely for a run. Uh, maybe see if we get time to do all three. I'm, so I've never done freight in this. I'm not a fan of freight. But, ah, well, you can... It's diesel, in it? It's just such an iconic piece of British engineering, this thing. I absolutely love it. Uh, I think it's got to be my second favourite train of all time. Behind the Pacer, obviously. Right, we've got to stop up here. Maybe uh, misjudging the brakes, but we'll see how we go. Oh no, they're quite good. Oh, you scumbag. Okay. Seven yards short. Yeah, I've got London Commuter. I actually really like the London Commuter route. That was also a choice for me to do. There we go. You're ready to head out there on your own now. If you remember everything I've shown you here, you will do just fine. Yeah, so in other words, I'm going to forget everything you've just shown me there. Right, so that's the Class 43. Uh, now we'll jump in and do the uh, training on the uh, 166. So, explore, training, uh, although we've done it before, say so we'll do it again, just for anybody that hasn't seen the route before. She is far too polite, right, in the 166. Like, I really do like the 166. This is the class 166 in Great Western Railway livery. This unit is used up and down the Great Western Main Line, providing stopping services to thousands of commuters each week. Today, you're going to learn how to take control of this unit, start it up, get it moving, and then bring it to a stop. Start by climbing aboard the unit. Enter through the cab door in front of you. I will enter through the cab door in front of me. Um, I don't mind London Underground, actually. It's one I should really do again. Take a look around, and when you're ready, have a seat in the driver's chair. It's very tartan. We have very tartan. Okay. I'm I'm I don't want to look at precision control. First, okay. To get the engine up and running. Useful. Start by unlocking the reverser using the master key. Master key is in. Set the reverser handle into the neutral position. Uh, reverser handle into no that's the braking one. <laughs> uh that one. Into neutralis. You need to charge 
charge the brakes before we start the engine to ensure the train does not roll back. Set the throttle brake to full service. Uh, hang on. Full service. When there we go. Ready, hit the engine start button on the desk to get the engine running. Now, set the headlights to day. That actually sounds quite nice as well. Headlights to the day one. There we go. Put the train in forward so we're ready to get moving. Using the reverser again, set the handle into forward. Forward. By setting the throttle brake to off, they will start to release. Nearly there. Now apply some power and get this unit moving. Ease the throttle brake handle oh, that's into notch one. Properly smoky, isn't it? We approve of the smoky, right. Oh, I forget how nice some of these sound. Is this a squeaky chair? Oh, else a door. Oh, hello. That's clever. Okay. Right, reach 10 miles an hour. Set the throttle brake to off. The exercise chair, yeah. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to uh, come back and do it again. I really like um, diesels, obviously. And I just thought it'd be quite nice to do uh, the Great Western Line. It was on a 166 on Saturday. Awesome. You're performing great and showing real confidence. All you need to do now is bring this unit to a gradual stop. Set the throttle brake handle to braking one to apply a small amount of braking force and let the brakes do the rest. We will let the brakes do the rest. Well, hopefully they will, and unless they fail me. Braking one. Uh, Aston. Haven't heard from you for ages. Yay! You're ready to head out there on your own now. If you remember everything I've shown you here, you will do just fine. Really? Well, I'm not going to remember everything you've just shown me there because I've probably forgotten it already. Uh, right, so that's the 43 and the 166. There's also then uh, the one we didn't do uh, last time then, which was the 66. I don't know why we haven't done the 66, but... Uh, so let's do this then. First time for me, and then we'll take the 43 uh, on a run. Because 43. This is a DBS Class 66 diesel locomotive, nicknamed Shed because of how it looks. This locomotive used to haul aggregates up and down the Great Western Main Line. Today, you're going to learn how to take control of this powerful freight locomotive. Start it up, get it moving, and then bring it to a stop. Okay. Start by climbing aboard the locomotive. Enter through the cab door in front of you. Take a look around, and when you're ready... Hang on, I haven't got in there yet. Wait, I haven't got in yet. Uh, wait and see, Pacer. How the hell do I reach that door handle from down here? Charlie Dimmock driving a 43. Hang on. Alan Titchmarsh, you said earlier. And I said more like Alan Partridge. Uh, there we go. Uh, all right. Set the master key to the on thing. Oh, down there. Okay. First, you need to get... I've put the master key... Now get the engine started. Set the engine run switch, generator field switch, and the control and fuel... Uh, generator fuel switch and control and fuel pump switch on. Here you go. Use the engine start button on the desk, then wait for the engine to get running and set the isolation switch to run. Oh. Oh, that's proper diesel. We've got to open these windows. We've got to listen to that, haven't we? Right, set the isolation switch to run. This locomotive uses the PBL braking system. Before we go anywhere, we need to run a quick brake test. First, 
Hold the auto brake handle in the release position until the brake pipe control needle in front of you reaches five. That means the brakes are completely released. It was a famous gardener on uh, Blue Peter. Uh, sorry. Hold the auto brake and release until the PBC reaches five. Percy Thrower, that's the one. Okay. The brakes now need charging, so a full application is needed. This time, hold the auto brake handle in the apply position until the brake pipe control needle is at three. Okay, hold it till it's in three. Okay. All you need to do now is fully release the brakes again so we can get moving. Okay, brakes to release. Oh, hold the auto brakes until it's. Make your mind, how many bloody times have I got to pull this flipping thing? Okay. Time to get moving. Turn the headlights and marker lights on. Turn the headlights and marker lights to the. Oh, where are the. Oh, we're up there. That's a bit fancy, isn't it? Uh, daytime? Now do. Put the train in forward, so we're ready to get moving. Using the reverse. Forward. Now you need to release the last of the brakes, the parking brake. Of course, it's complicated, isn't it? Nearly there. Now apply some power and get this train moving. Ease the throttle handle into notch one. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's quite like pornographic almost. I think this is fast enough for now. To maintain our current Back to idle, okay. Oh that's horny. Oh hang on, we got two two horns. Oh hello. Oh, it does sound nice. Use the throttle to manage your speed. I'm doing that. It's happening. It's a thing. Bloody big cup holders. How big a cup do you think you need to put in those cup holders? All right, so finish this training. Uh, then we're going to take the 43 on a run. Let's bring the train to a gradual stop. Using the auto brake handle in the applied position again, get the brake pipe control needle in front of you to around four to apply a gentle application, and then let the brakes do the rest. Oh, you scumbag. Okay. Fine. Not cup holders if my gardening I bought gardening tools this morning. Yeah, the the uh, auto mod caught that, uh, Aston. Surprisingly, really, when you said small hose. Uh, right. So that's the training on that one done. Let's go and take the uh, class forty three for a trip then, shall we? So explore. Uh, actually, is there any scenarios in the forty three? Down the line in the 60, Westworld. Schedules to drive a high-speed service out of London to the West Country. Well, that could do it, couldn't it? 45 minutes. I'll do. Let's do one of the scenarios. When it loads. You've been called in to cover for a driver who's been delayed on another service. You're needed to take the train out to Reading, where the driver will continue the service as scheduled. Oh, I see. So I come in. I get bloody paid overtime for this. I'm not just, you know, coming in for the hell of it. I'll at least get an extra day off or something, dragging me in on a day off. Just because he's out of lay-in. Mm. 
Uh, where am I going? Oh, that way. Okay. I was expecting to walk down the other end. Set up the train for a timely departure. Well, sod off. If it, look, I was called in. I was about to sit and watch Coronation Street. What does my driver avatar look like? I don't know. sound nice though right uh, oh headlamps today then the one for day tail lights they're doing it day reverse into forward uh, I'm put the key in away reverse into forward Unlock the doors on the left side. Okay. Low passengers. I just even on tick over, this thing sounds so good. Right then, so where are we going? Uh, we are going from... We're going straight to Reading. That's it. Just one stop, Reading. Okay. On a nice evening run. So we'll do this one. Then we'll see if we can do one in the 166 end. And then see if we've got time to do one in the freight as well. Let's see if we can take all three different types of train out. Okay, lock the doors. Set the train brakes to running. Signal permitting, allow power to get, apply power to get moving. Okay. We have a green. That noise. Yeah, okay. This Great Western Express doesn't go all the way down the Great Western Main Line, but with that noise, I can forgive it that, I think. Stop at Reading. If it's a bit loud for anybody, I'll turn it down, but I'm loving it. Oh yeah, I, when it first came out, I moaned because it because uh, it only went as far as Reading. But wow, uh, Don Choo Choo indeed, twenty five at the Moss. Thank you very very much, Don. So good. Right, so it's a straight run to Reading. Thirty four of the miles. Waiting for that 50 limit so you can give it some of the more of the beans. Wait for the limit to change. Uh, 
There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, I would love to see the line carry on down to Swindon. I really would, even down to Bristol, because the, the line, certainly when you get down, in, coming through Bath and then into Bristol, is really, really nice. Uh, I'm, you know, there are limitations on distance, size, etc., which is why they've done it as far as Reading. Uh, I just wish they'd do a second bit now, so they could do Reading to Bristol. That'd be quite nice. And say give PC players the ability to then to link them all. So if you got if they did Reading to Bristol, Bristol to Cardiff, or Bristol to Exeter, and then there was a way of linking them all together. So uh, you know I'd love to do a full line run down into Exeter in this. Uh, Crispy. Right, we have a hundred limit. Levers are all the way back. It's just so good. So say we do this run to Reading, then we jump in a 166, see if we got something from Reading coming back, and then we'll see what time we get, whether we do some freight as well. So I've never done freight on this. So speed's picking up slowly. Yeah, never get pacer. I've driven trains from London to Penzance, so I know it can be done in normal train sim, but it would be nice to have the option to do that in this. Yeah, if you're new to the streams, welcome indeed. Uh, trains, something I normally do on a Wednesday, uh, railway Wednesday. Uh, however, being it's Bank Holiday Monday, thought I'd do some extra train content. But there will be more on Wednesday. I'll turn that volume down a little tiny bit. There we go. Right, so we got 30 miles till we get to Reading. We're on 125 limit for the speed. When we just go on YouTube, oh blimey, uh, about a month's time. Happy May bank holiday, yeah. Right, about to hit 100. Yeah, I actually forgot how, how good a, uh, a DLC this was already just this audio is enough and the fact you can drive a HST out of London albeit only as far as Reading but you know we'll forgive them that and it's quite nice as it's getting dark as well So yeah, additional stream today, uh, being this bank holiday. 
You may see me again later today. Just saying. And then plan stream uh, tomorrow night uh, in Omsi, and then back Wednesday with some train sim. Yeah, I don't think AWS is modelled in this. All right, 115 miles an hour. Okay. It's a good thing then. I haven't got it on. I could just sit and listen to this the audio of this thing for hours and hours and hours. It is so good. Hundred and twenty miles an hour. Actually, gonna have to back it off when we get to uh, 125. Oh wow! Look at that sun. Ah, oh, so nice. No, my luck now. They'll throw a yellow at us or something. I'll have to try and stop this thing. I'm not supposed to look at the sun. Don't look directly into the light. Right, so back it off a little bit. I'll back it off a lot then, because we're speeding now. There we go. They may not have been good for the environment, but damn, they look good and sound good. Oh yeah, the bouncing around in the cab is really cool as well. I haven't got my track IR turned on either. No smoking apparently, that's good. Oh, I'd love to do a really long distance in this thing. But yeah, we'll jump into 166 after this and do a, uh, a route, uh, if we can find one, back from Reading. So we'll probably get a stopping service. There's not as many other trains as I think there would be on this line. Oh, back it off again. Although there's one there. But I suppose five to eight, or no, quarter to eight in the evening, services would be reduced. I 
forgot how good the lighting was as well. Right, 17 miles to Reading. I just want to listen to this engine. Right, so I've got to keep my eye on the signal in the top right to see if we do then get yellows. So I should imagine it will slow us down coming into uh, Reading. It did say it was a 45 minute scenario. Yeah, I do want to go and ride the Elizabeth line when that opens, finally. Yeah, the way the cab's rocking around is actually really well done. Similar stuff. I haven't actually planned any meetups this year. Um... It'll be the first year in the last six that we haven't done one. Even the year of lockdown, we had a meet up in the February. To the Crew Heritage Centre. That was an exciting 45 minutes. All right, 12 miles to Reading. Yeah, uh, Insomnia Gaming Festival has been on over the Easter. There wasn't really any interest in people going. Should go back to crew. I really want to do York. Uh, I think that's the thing. worth uh, arranging it's not too bad a journey from here I'd probably even go on the, it'd be expensive but I probably would go on the train to do an overnight stay in York Crewe is the worst place I've been as far as the tourist destination uh, 45 minutes and we were done Yeah, no uh, disrespect to the people that look after it and I should imagine the hard working people that put a lot of effort in but there's nothing there yeah I'd like to do the museums in London I think that's quite a good day out um, doing the Natural History Museum, the Science Museum, Victorian Albert. Um, I like, I've never been to the London Transport Museum. I think that could be quite interesting. It's 
so you can almost do a day of museums in London. Right, keep my eye on that top right now for the signals. Backing off the power. I know we're going to get a yellow at some point. Yeah, well, I'm lucky, you know, I'm an hour's drive from London, so it's not like I have to do an overnight stay. And it's, uh, it's doable. You could do a couple of days. You could go up there, come back, come back up again. Science Museum's brilliant. It's been a long time since I've been to the Science Museum. So I've never done the um, London Transport Museum. Um, I like Tate Modern. That's normally somewhere I pop into every time I go to London. I haven't been to the Victoria and Albert or the History Museum for a long time either. And that's quite an easy day out, cheap day out, because the major museums are free. Yeah, including, um, well, I went a few years ago and parked at um, uh, the Barbican. Paid like a fiver uh, online to be able to park at the Barbican all day. So that was really worth it. Right, we've got a 95 in uh, two miles, so we'll start slowing it down. Yeah, I've done that a few times, actually. It's quite easy back to the motorway from here. All right, slowing it down to 95. Oh, they weren't impressed because I think it, the idea was that you pay for the parking if you're going to an event. Um, and we're out to go and validate my parking. The woman at the reception said, what event have you been to? I said, I haven't. What do you mean you haven't? I've just paid for the parking. Well, you're not supposed to do that. Well, your system let me just pay for parking. So I just paid for parking. Yeah, it's just, probably it's for me to get to London by train is so expensive. Where it's just an hour down the motorway. So driving it into London is, is no issue at all. But yeah, park on the outskirts and get the tube in. I did park at Roycelip uh, once and literally just parked that down the side street, you know, residential street. I just left the car there all day. It didn't cost me anything for parking. Okay, we got a 60. Okay, train break three. Okay, let's slow it down just in case that turns to red. We're a mile out. Actually, really enjoyable high speed run. So, we will jump into 166 after this then and do a stopper in uh, proper daylight. Wow, that got dark. All right, there we go. We got a red in 900 yards. Here we come. Oh, that's quite 
quite a ah so you book a ticket not to central london that's a good shout what if i did that what if i because it's probably cheaper if i got a ticket to like slough and then changed at slough because you're probably talking what it probably cost me 15 quid in diesel to get to london and back plus parking unless you parked on residential then get the tube in if I could get into central in you know we, I normally walk around London if I could get into Paddington or somewhere on a normal train I just walk of course I've got a contactless debit card <laughs> who hasn't nowadays Right, here we are then, arriving at Reading. Drive to New Street. So you drive all the way to Birmingham. Seems a bit extreme. Right, so let's stop here. Unlock the doors. It does look so good. Yeah, but sometimes it's better. So if you booked a, a return to Birmingham from where you are and then booked a return from Birmingham to London, it'd probably be cheaper than buying than booking a ticket from where you are straight to london there's a there's an app in there that will break down the journey you put where you're going and it works out what the best i don't know what it's called yeah train pal um it works out the best way so you either buy a couple of singles yeah split ticketing so like me if i booked a ticket from here to reading and then reading to london it'd be cheaper than me going directly from here to london so you might be cheaper to get a train from where you are to New Street and then get another ticket from New Street to London. Uh, low passengers, wait until 1956. Objective. Hopefully the other driver will be along shortly. Hopefully disembark from the service and head for the station exit. Oh, that's true, yeah. Reading's on the Liza Perp line now. Yeah, so you can't get a train that goes by Reading if the train you're on doesn't stop at Reading. And here we are in Reading. Right, well that was the uh, Class 43 uh, journey done then. Uh, now we'll uh, see if we can find one with the, uh, the 166. Uh, is there a scenario? We've done that one with the 166. Uh, I could go drag my let's, let's do a timetable then. Uh, in the 166. So, Oxford to London Paddington. London Paddington to Reading. We want the other way around. Reading to London Paddington. Drive an empty stock train. No, we don't want that, do we? London Paddington to Oxford. We want to go the other way. We want to go Reading to Reading Train Care. Is there no... 
network of turbo along the Thames Valley from Reading to London Paddington. It doesn't say how many stops it is, though. Does it? Uh, so I'll take that one then. Okay, we'll go back. So Reading to London Paddington. Uh, stop at Twyford in 4.9. Okay, where are we stopping then? So we're stopping at Twyford, Maidenhead, Taplow, Burnham, Slough, West Drayton, Hayes and Harlington, Ealing Broadway, London Paddington. So we are doing a few stops in. So we haven't got any passages on here. Uh, that's in the reverse, is in the off position. Put my key in. Uh, okay. So that's the train we're in. Uh, lights was up here. Daytime lights. Right, off to Twyford. Oh, even this sounds good. It didn't tell me to let anybody on. It said stop at location Twyford, 4.8 miles. This is nice. So we'll do this one and then see if there's something we can do with the uh, diseasel. Uh, with, a, with a 66. If people wanted to get on, they should have knocked. Exactly. It's not my fault. Right. All of the beans. Should have gone wee woo out the window. I can't open the window. Okay. You've got to say it, haven't you? Train sim world does look. Bloody good. You've got to give it that. It does look... Oh, hello, gear change. It does look bloody good. Right, 3.7... 3.6 miles to Twyford. already stopped selling hot cross buns. You can buy them all year here. I haven't had any this year though. I was going to go to a supermarket earlier. I went bought gardening implements and then uh, cleaned the car. But I thought that's a bit too much for one day. He brought some mince pies today. Bloody hell. Yeah, I'm going shopping on Wednesday. Right, 2.2 miles to uh, Twyford. I don't know what we're going to be like on stopping distance with this thing. You're currently eating spaghetti hoops on toast, minus the toast. <laughs> You've just got a bowl of spaghetti hoops. 
he could have walked to the shop near you and bought some bread. But I would have just had a bowl of spaghetti hoops as well. I haven't got bread. I've got rolls. I haven't got any bread. I might take a stroll to the shop before the stream later. I mean, uh, there's no, no, not streaming later. Definitely not. 100% not streaming farming later. Not happening. Right, braking. This thing's got quite good brakes. Right, into Twyford. Slowing it down. Objective complete. Unlock the doors. Oh, they have bad brakes in reality, did they? Uh, oh, but I say, yeah, the doors are not undoing. They took their time. Oh, this does look really nice, doesn't it? Right, wait to load these passengers and head on our way back towards uh, Paddington, the bear. See if he's home. I think a long time to load bloody passengers though, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Locking doors. Stop at Maidenhead. Right. Let's give it uh, all of the beans. Okay, not bad. This makes me want to do like the uh, East Coast way and do the London commuter one. That's, that's electric though, isn't it? Well, it was quite good. Brighton and back. Maybe we do that on Wednesday. Hi, Aaron. Right, six miles to go to Maidenhead. Yeah, might do that. I don't think I've done... I don't think there's any of the Trains in World 2 that I haven't done. I need to perhaps go through all my DLCs and check that I've done content on them. Because I think there may be one or two that I haven't done any content on. I need to see if, if I'm missing any. I think I've got nearly all of them. I 
There's a couple of the, the, the locos I haven't got, but I'm not into those. It's the roots I want. Speaking of Bristol's, I actually uh, had a flashback to my childhood. Uh, as a YouTube channel, I occasionally watch some of their content. I unsubscribed because they was putting out too much. Uh, Rootmaster for Hire, where they, they were doing Rootmaster restorations. Uh, they put a video out where they went to uh, look at a friend's bus uh, as a Bristol VR. And it was pretty much the bus that I remember being here uh, when I was a kid. It was like, wow with the pre-select gearbox and it's like, Jesus Christ. Right, 85 miles an hour. Okay, so this thing will do, well, 80, go, go back to the future now, 88 miles an hour. Okay, idle it. Oh, that sounded quite nice. Right, 2.4 miles to Maidenhead. And then onwards towards uh, Landinium. So yeah, more train sim, um, possibly train sim world two on Wednesday, uh, my normal uh, railway Wednesday. I don't normally stream on a Monday at all, but decided to because it's a uh, bank holiday. Uh, may be back this evening for an additional one. Uh, more farming uh, tomorrow night, though. Back with some OMSI two uh, driving in our bus company. Uh, Wednesday, as I said, some uh, train sim world two. Possibly look at the London commuter. Uh, Thursday will be farming. Friday, going to do some more railroads online. Uh, next Saturday lunchtime uh, will be something single player. Uh, next Saturday night, possibly some more trucking in an interesting truck. Uh, and then um, something else uh, next Sunday. Okay, so slowing down into Maidenhead. Uh, possibly, I have an idea. I have a cunning plan. I shall do like I did the other day and just take a photo for those that join him in the trucking and see if they can work out the start position. I am really, yeah, when it first released, I wasn't a fan of, uh, of Trains in World. I, I will admit that. Uh, I'm still not a fan of the whole repairing fences and, you know, putting up posters and stuff like that. I, I uh, just don't think that should be in uh, Train Sim. How would you compare Bus Sim 21 to OMSI? Bus Sim 21 is not a simulation. It's an arcade uh, bus driving game. Uh, and isn't it's okay if you think of it as an arcade bus driving game uh, OMSI is oh for God's sake camera uh, OMSI is a bus sim 
So OMSI is the only option really if you want a true bus sim. It has its faults, but the buses are really well done. There's a lot of routes, I mean a lot of routes. Um, and there's a huge following, uh, a lot of buses, a lot of uh, routes still coming out, uh, a lot of routes being improved. Um, yeah, it's the only thing really. All right, loading passengers here at uh, Maidenhead. Before we make our way onwards. Locking doors. All right, stop at Taplo. Uh, 1.8 miles to Taplo. It's a shame these routes aren't longer because with the modelling of that 43 and the modelling of this and the audio, I would really, really love longer routes with this level of detail and this audio and these trains. Uh, whether it will come, whether train sim will get up to this level, um, or whether at some point in the future they will give us longer routes, for maybe just for PC players. Uh, I don't know what the popularity is of this compared to how it's popular on console. I would like to try this on console. I might see if I can uh, get a copy of it um, on console, because I've never played it, just to see the comparison between the two. Right, coming into Taplo. Oh, that sounds good. Right, in we come. Into Taplo we come. Another 166 coming towards us rather quickly. So he's not going to stop there, is he? Taplo, this is Taplo. Taplo, this is Taplo. Oh, hello, that was a... Stop doing that! That's the one thing with this stupid Unreal 4 engine. I was trying to reach for a jelly baby and the camera keeps zooming. That's uh, quite a loud horn. What's it like inside? You want your lights on? Oops. Okay. Well, um, forget the fact you want your lights on. We've got a switch uh, for train lighting on. There we go, that's better. Uh, right, locking doors. Right, Burnham. Hey, are we in with Somerset now? Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can get it for review. 
I think it'd be, it could be a good comparison. I will ask the question. I haven't turned my Xbox up here on for about eight months. That's going to have a one hell of an update. Yeah, I just want to see how it if it does differ. I just want to do just if it's as good, if it runs smoothly, how it actually works. Right, a mile to Burnham. So I've offered the chance to have tourist bus on console. But I haven't got a next-gen console. I was toying with the PlayStation 5 because I really like the idea of Gran Turismo 7. So that may happen. Right, braking. Right, into Burnham. With with more braking than that. And, and and more than that. Okay, no that that amount of braking's fine. We we'll actually back off the braking. Stopping. Objective is complete. Opens the doors. Yeah. The free cam's great, but I have to lean over my keyboard to be able to press number eight. There we go. One two five house. For you, so you were here in Swindon then. Passengers are still being loaded. Wait until twelve eleven. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll wait ten seconds then. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, A slough in two point five miles. Yeah, my old man used to work for Zurich. Uh, their offices were above the railway station uh, here in Swindon. Uh, but their restaurant was across the road. <laughs> so you had to come out of the railway station, turn right, walk down a bit, and they had another office there where the restaurant was. Uh, so uh, I used to meet him in school holidays and summer holidays, like once a week for lunch, because they were allowed to have a guest for lunch. So uh, that was a similar area in the town centre to uh, 125 House. Right, Slough is next. Oh, 
I did certainly forget how awesome this route was, this DLC is. Uh, we've got a 75 coming up. Yeah, he was there. Then they moved what was there out to Wotton Bassett um, before he retired. So it was a while ago. I can't remember what the, where the, where the um, place where the restaurant was called. I had like, like a little elevated ramp thing going up into the door. I shouldn't be going in there and uh, having to sit in the reception bit waiting for him to come across. That was pretty much all I do on my day, day off school. I'd walk into town, meet my dad for lunch, then walk home again. <laughs> and that was, that was it. Right, 800 yards, coming into slough. I've only been to Slough once. Uh, went to the um, Dulux Training Centre in Slough. I went for a meal out. That was an experience. It was a two day training course. Day one was, I think it was wood stains and stuff. And day two was something else but it was a meal out and, a, and free drinks in the evening so not many people were paying attention on day two surprising that objective complete all right we've arrived at slough so we've still got uh, west straight and uh, hayes and harlington ealing broadway and then into london paddington So yeah, there'll be another stream uh, tonight, uh, back about six o'clock uh, with a couple of hours of farming, uh, back on our farm. Uh, tomorrow evening, uh, then, unless I appear tomorrow lunchtime, uh, no, tomorrow evening will be uh, some OMSI 2, uh, back on Wednesday evening with some more trains in World 2, going to do the London commuter route. Um, Thursday night will be uh, more farming, Friday night will be some railroads online, uh, can I straighten out those bends uh, and make some more direct connections uh, on railroads online. Uh, Saturday lunchtime, uh, something single player, Saturday night uh, some more trucking and then next Sunday afternoon uh, probably some more farming. So lots of stuff coming up over the next week. I have got a few days off work, I'm not back at work until Thursday. So uh, I've finished my front garden this morning. That's all done. Um, and uh, tomorrow is back garden. Although I did uh, get rid of the weeds oh, off the uh, patio yeah. this morning as well. Uh, Paul, thank you very, very much for the follow. Welcome to the uh, insane asylum. I would say pull up a chair, but they're uh, nailed to the ground. Okay, so West Drayton next, 4.9 miles. So good. And we'll see when we've done this one, see if we can uh, tackle a quick one in the... Uh, 
in the class 66 because haven't done any of the freight on this before so we get to drive all three types of train Speed limit's back to 90. We should be good. Obviously, it will slow us down as we come into London. So we're due in at 12.22 to uh, West Drayton three miles away yeah definitely forgot how good a DLC this is uh, really worth getting if you haven't got it already yeah it only goes Paddington to Reading um, but uh, driving a HST in a 166 that's enough reason diesel diesel that's all the reason you need diesel Does look really good. Right, two miles to go. This thing's whipping along now. Back to the future speed. That even the audio of the engine uh, spooling down. Okay, uh, probably a bit more braking than that. Oh, I don't know. No, brakes are quite good. That goes down there. complete. I managed to do the stoppy thing. A lot of beeps in just to open the doors. Oh, there we go. Mind the gap between the height of the platform and the... Beep can't even get off the train. They're getting trapped. They can't get on. It's too high. Yet there's nobody on board. Where do they all go? They get on and they. Sorry. Where did you go? You haven't gone this way. You haven't gone that way. Passengers get on and then vanish. 
into the twilight zone, a bit like our Discord server. Wait until 12.23. Fine. I'll just sit here. You're paying me, so I don't really care. Do, 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 do. Anyone any good songs? <laughs> Why does that window open? What if it's hot and I want to open the window? Locked doors. Hayes and Harlington. 12.3 miles? No, 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 no. 2.3 miles. Baby shark. That's the first song you could think of, Lalwood. <laughs> wow, you know, Lalwood's got on his playlist. Right, Hayes and Harlington, 2.3 miles. First good song. Wow, really? <laughs> I had some uh, Elton John playing while I was gardening this morning. I was one of those people, I had my Amazon device up really loud in the kitchen, front door wide open and uh, out in the front garden. Was it Rocket Man? Rocket Man did play. That wasn't the soundtrack to the film, which is a brilliant film, by the way, if you haven't seen it. All right, 1.1 1 .1 miles to Hayes and Harlington. Electrified lines all around us, but not the one we're on. Well, it is, but we're not electrified. Right, slowing down. That's a big pile of sand major sandcastle build going on there. Spectre, one of the worst James Bond films ever. A bad bit of stopping, a bit aggressive, but not oh, bad. And log left. Doors are open. Passengers are removing themselves from the train after they've all got up off the floor because of the heavy braking. actually load passengers is that a thing do you stop at a station to load passengers surely it should be embark and disembark passengers oh, i've had coffee spilt on spit on them oh yeah mine coffee people that broke a nail and uh, have you seen the film with sandra bullock and keanu reeves <laughs> way too often Uh, locking doors. Stop at Ealing Broadway in 5.2 miles. Right, beans.
Right. I have given it all of the beans. Every single one of them. The whole tin is had. Let's see what happens. Uh, 85 limit in uh, 2.4 miles. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm liking the audio on this. So we've got Ealing Broadway uh, and then into Paddington. Uh, is it morning? No, it's afternoon now. It was morning when we started. I've achieved so much this morning. Feels like it should be the end of the day already. I'm going to be asleep by about six o'clock. It feels like a Sunday again for me. Oh, yeah. Uh, Nathan. With some letters in front. Uh, thanks so much for the follow. Welcome to Insanity. Right, keep the speed down a little tiny bit. So yeah, so tonight, uh, I don't normally stream on a Monday at all. Um, I normally take Mondays off, so I stream uh, Tuesday to Sunday. Uh, but because it's bank holiday, uh, done an extra stream today. And we'll also be back for an additional stream this evening. Uh, more farming on our uh, multiplayer farm uh, 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 this evening. Uh, I do make YouTube videos. This, in fact, will be going on YouTube. doing YouTube longer than I have Twitch. I think this is six years now, five, six years for Twitch, something like that. Something like that, isn't it? In July. Scary. You've watched every one of my videos, really? That's, that's a lot. <laughs> there won't be enough time in the world to do that. Uh, right, a mile from Ealing Broadway. We'll uh, slow it down a little bit. No one watched the one about yesterday. Actually, about 30 people did. And someone pointed out my error. Oh, when the stream's gone on YouTube. Uh, about a month. Well, about a month ahead now because I've done an extra couple of I was a week ahead but because I've done some extra train sim I'm now a month ahead right breaking into Ealing Broadway And then it'll be uh, on to Paddington. And then we'll jump in a freight train. And nope. Don't do it the braking too early. Mm. 
There we go. Unlock left. Doors are being unlocked. They're actually getting on or off. Doesn't look like it. Oh no, they're walking towards the train. Are they? Are they getting on? Are they getting on? Are they getting on? Oh yes, they are. Yep. Oh, they vanished. Harry Potter just got on the train. No one seems to be rushing, do they? It's not like, oh no, my train's there. I better rush to go on. No, it's like, ah, oh, take a general stroll. Sorry, we might leave without you. You're not that concerned by that? Oh, I'm just going to sit down. This isn't my train, so I'm just going to sit here. Oh, there is another one, in fact. Going the other way. Yeah, his stopping was far too gentle. Are his doors going to open? Yes, they are. Right, wait until 12.35. So the final stop coming up for this one. I say, then we'll jump in the class 66 and see if there's a, uh, a freight one we can do. Because I've not done freight on this before. And we've driven the 43 to 166 and the 66. A lot of sixes and some threes and a four. And a one in there. Now get them on. Oh, lock doors. Stop at London Paddington in 5.3 of the miles. All right, go, go, go. Towards Paddington we go, the bear. Time of the day are we? Oh, 12.35. Yeah, I thought there'd be a few more trains around than there is. Or oh, there are. That was good English, wasn't it? Right, I wonder what sort of speed restriction we're going to get. It's not going to let us do 80 all the way into Baddington, is it? Yeah, it's going to be uh, London Commuter then on uh, Wednesday. So London to uh, Brighton. And then doesn't the East Coast way go from Brighton? It does, doesn't it? So maybe that's the case then. The week after, we might have to do the East Coast way. So we do Reading to London, London to Brighton, Brighton to wherever the East Coast way ends up. Bit of a hop around the UK. Right, we've got a 50 in two miles. Still got greens. So we'll back it off. Just 
Burns. Get Paddington to Victoria on the district line. I could actually. Well, uh, instead of doing East Coast, what? Uh, um, the London commuter. Is that a trip cop one? I keep asking that. I can't remember which one it's on, whether it's Train Sim or Train Sim World 2. We've got the whole trip cop stupid thing. No. So it's us, us on Train Sim then. World of Subways 3. God, I haven't played that for years. Right. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll just do uh, London Commuter then. Right, 40 limit coming up. So we'll slow down a bit early. As we approach uh, Paddington, so then we'll jump in a... Uh, a freight train. Yeah, definitely forgot how great a route this is. Yeah, it's only Paddington to Reading. Um, but you can forgive it that because you've got the 143, which is awesome. 143, the 43, which is awesome. The 166, which is also this, which is awesome. And it's worth it just for that. I don't think you could get bored just going up and down this bit of uh, the main line. Alright, 1.1 miles to go. Under the limit for that 40. Right, we've got a 25 then in uh, half a mile and the yellow. So a little bit on the brake. But that's an incline coming out of there. Jesus Christ. That's a hell of an incline. Right, and we come slowly, so we've got a yellow here. I'm hopeful that the red is the one at the end of the platform. I think it should be. Platform 14. 700 yards, yeah. So red's at the end. Then we're going to jump in a freight train. I could just sit and listen to the engine audio in this, uh, which is really good. It, well, the 43 was better, obviously, but this is actually really good. Okay, that was pornographic.
Uh, I really hope they bring the pacer to uh, Train Sim. They've got to at some point. Uh, Train Sim World 2, rather. Or the, yeah, the 205. It was. As I say, that was just... Mm. Well, we can't go any further because the line sort of ends just there. Just got to wait for the scenario to end. Whether it will get me to shut everything down or whether it just sod me off out of the train. Locking doors. Oh, there we go. Objective complete. That was actually quite cool. Uh, right. Main menu. We'll see what... Uh, are there any scenarios for the freight one? Aggregate Industries. Discharge a rake of hoppers at Hayes Hut Type Suit before working the train over to Acton, preparing it for a return journey. Um... I could try that, I suppose, can we? What's the worst that can happen? Into the slow speed control mode. Sorry, what now? Turn slow speed control on. God, oh, blimey. Uh, set reverse to reverse. We'll put the key in. Set set speed to three. Oh God, okay. Uh, oh, hang on, that was too fast. That was too slow. That was too fast. Three. Start slow speed control using F1 on the... Okay. Release the automatic brakes. This is... So it's just going to do it itself at three miles an hour then. Set the throttle to notch three. Okay, is it actually going to move? Oh, yes, we are. So I'm guessing this thing's going to go and unload the wagons. slowly backwards. At a whopping three miles an hour. We should then see them, hopefully, if that's animated, we should see them unload. We're riding these points are set correctly and we actually go around there where we should be going around. They look right.
It's one thing I'll get used to with freight, isn't it? Just everything happens just so slowly. Uh, yeah, there's a discharge facility down there. I wonder if nowadays trains like this would have a uh, like a wireless camera that they would put on the rear car with a feed to the um, to the loco. It's a man with a walkie-talkie. Yes, yeah, so you'd have a banksman then. Or but like you do on a construction site, you'd have a banksman. So you'd be sitting going, you're all right. 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 <laughs> the whole way down. Right, will this uh, unloading be animated? That's going to be the question. Well, one of them. Because this will be mechanical, wouldn't it? There'll be like a big pit underneath and there'll be something on there that will force open the door at the bottom or doors at the side depending on where it, uh, it's probably like the um a bit like a grab door they'll open underneath so they go sideways so something mechanical will open and then close See what happens here. Oh, there you go. I don't actually see. Yes, it's not animated coming out or the doors aren't animated opening but you then see the empty hoppers at the top so you've got to wait for all these to unload and then it'll be uh, I think we've got to take the loco somewhere else then
I'm liking the fact that the revs are actually dropping because it's pushing less weight. So with every one that's being unloaded, you almost hear the, the revs drop because it's got to use less force to push the, push the remaining weight backwards at the same speed. Right, that's the last one. Set throttle to idle. Apply the automatic brakes. Set slow speed control to off. Set reverser to forward. Release the automatic brakes. Stop at Hayes Goods Loop in 600 yards. There we go. It's probably about as far as we'll uh, go with it. Is the uh, the Hayes good loop? I got points for using the horn. Oh, HST. Yeah, I think, well, the 43 sounds really good. Uh, the 166 sounded really good. Uh, this sounds okay. I think it sounds better from the outside, this one. So I'm not a huge fan of freight anyway. Well, the old blue diesel eras, uh, era, they did sound really nice. Why is it stopping us up here? That's because there's a red, that's why. Actually, we'll see what happens at the red. Right now, I can actually stop it. Oh, you scumbag. Eight yards, really. Wait for a moment, okay? Stop at Acton Yard Reception. There we go. That's as far as we'll take this then. Release the brakes. We have a green. 5.6 miles. Are we going to get any forward moment? Moment? Momentum. Movement. Oh, 
Oh, look at that diesel smokage. Lots of diesel smokage. Definitely good for the environment, these things. Right, five point six miles. So a fifteen mile an hour limit. Hopefully that's not for the next one point nine miles. Although it looks like it could be. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, look at that. Proper, proper claggy that. Look at that. That's what it's all about. Hi, GDM. What was that wheel slip we just got? So yeah, we'll get as far as the stop up here, and that'll be uh, that'll be us for today. So we've driven the uh, the 43, the 166, and then finish off in the 66, and uh, just goes to show how awesome this DLC really is. I mean, proper moving IO4. Wow, I'm actually uh, surprised we're going this fast in a freight train. actually shows the diversity that you get with some of these routes. So 166 coming towards us. We saw a couple of uh, 43s. Yeah, I wish the line was longer. I wouldn't get any speeds in American Freight. No, you well, no, well, I don't know. They must do in some points, surely. I mean, actually, I have to back off the power. Actually, we got a, a 60 coming up.
our horseshoe curve didn't get very fast at all. All right, so we've got to stop in 1.7. And then that'll do us for this one. Through the station we go. Do I try and stop it now? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be entering the yard. I shall uh, stop at the reception. Slow it down, and we got a thirty. Oh, that smoke, though. Not what we want to see, really, because it means it's not running that well, but, you know. Panic slightly when I just saw that red as I entered the cab. I was like, oh! Right, 500 yards. Much dieselness, very nice. Right, here's our stop point then. And we'll end this scenario here. That gives a good overview. A, long, a non stop run in the 43 uh, from Paddington to uh, Reading. A stopper service in the uh, 166 going from uh, Reading back to Paddington. And then uh, a bit of a high speed run in a freight train. No. Uh, <laughs> let's go back to the main menu. <laughs> no, I'm not refueling it. Someone else can refuel it. I ain't doing it. Uh, right, let's get some audio back. There we go. Uh, so there we go. That was uh, the Great Western Express. Uh, really, really uh, enjoyed that. That was a good, uh, a good route. Uh, next time, then, I think we're going to have to do. Uh, That one. Uh, London Commuter. Oh, I really want to do West Cornwall again. That's quite cool as well. Uh, next time, though, we'll do uh, London Commuter. 
Uh, we'll have a trip down from uh, London to Brighton and back again. Uh, that will be in two days' time uh, on Wednesday evening. Um, so, uh, yeah, looking forward to that one. Uh, next stream, though, uh, an unplanned uh, and unscheduled uh, farming stream uh, back this evening at uh, 6 o'clock ish uh for a couple of hours more farming and then tomorrow night is some omzi uh from the bus company wednesday uh london commuter thursday will be some farming friday night gonna do some more railroads online uh saturday lunchtime will be something single player saturday night will be some ets2 uh and then sunday afternoon uh more farming so plenty of stuff coming up over the next week uh so thanks to you lot in chat for keeping me company uh eh, for the last couple of hours uh, and to this lot as well So thanks to uh, Crispy, Larwood and Nightbot for doing no moderation because you guys are brilliant. Uh, to Nathan and Paul for following. Dom Rado for subscribing. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, I will be back possibly with some idiots uh, to do some farming later on. Uh, until then, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching. <laughs>